Hello and welcome, you're with us at a very special time of year on a very special episode of Aspire. I'm Abha and I'm Vikram. This Diwali is going to be all about sweets, about celebrations, a lot of crackers of course and a lot of shopping. Well, this episode of Aspire is dedicated to the fine art of going out there and getting those bags full. Absolutely, we decided to hit the shops and uh, see exactly what's out there this festive season. Get you the best of the best. That's right and we're starting with what is best for the home. What's Diwali without uh, great silverware and I'm seeing a lot of it here at Ravisor at Kemp's Corner in Mumbai. Uh, this one is a tea set, in fact there are quite a few of them but this one has a more oriental stance to it. You see the silver and you see the gold plating right here. Uh, nicely embellished with this dome on top which uh, reminds you of the Taj Mahal. It's got that uh, blue enameling right on top so it's quite funky I think. But if you'd like to go a little sober then this one has a stately stance and I like the fact that they've used uh, jade over here and on top. What I came looking for here essentially are bar accessories and I'm seeing a few of it over here. I like this uh, stool, it carries the ice bucket and I like the two glasses that come with it as well. But essentially this one which holds the champagne bottle looks very classy. It's got the lapis lazuli stone over here and then there is the champagne flute as well. So here's placing a toast to Diwali. Looking around for gift items in the store, I chance upon these tea light holders. Browsing through magazines, I know that the lotus theme is pretty popular. With the colour that they come in, I think they make for a good gift. Diwali dinner deserves to be grand, which is why this one in sterling silver with the blue of the lapis lazuli on the handles has charm. What makes it better of course is the entire set, the ladle, the serving spoon, the wine goblet, the plate and indeed the knife and the fork. This would be a dinner fit for a king. I think guests would be very impressed if you gave them mukwas at the end of a Diwali dinner in something like this. Having a look around the store and we have three things on our mind. We want something that's beautiful, of course festive, but also something that we can use on other occasions. We want something that we can use on many celebrations around the year. So the first thing that caught my eye, also of course because it is Diwali time, are these beautiful tea sets. And in particular, I like this one because just take a look at it. Nice clean lines, it's, it's actually got a little bit of a colonial design and it's something that's not overtly traditional, so you could use it maybe even at Christmas down in a couple of months. And even the tray itself, if you take a closer look at that, has wonderful work on it. It's actually very pretty and you could even use that apart from the tea set to serve dry fruits or sweets or even maybe for your puja. One thing we're always looking for during Diwali are showpieces, whether it's for our own home or as a gift for somebody else. 
Also something that everyone seems to like is a Buddha statue, maybe because of its calming influence. But if you like one, perhaps the place to go is Royal Selangor. The Dharma collection here is incredibly popular. Apart from the statue itself, which is very peaceful if you take a look at it, it's actually accompanied by four mudras. Now you can use these in many versatile ways. So whether it's in front or as it was earlier, if you actually place them on the side, it makes a really nice backdrop for a counter filled with starters, flowers, sweets, snacks. It's definitely going to get your guests' attention. Now talking about showpieces, here's one that you really can't get your eyes off. It's a limited edition chessboard, but that's not what's so hot about it. It's actually part of the Hobbit collection, and if you take a closer look at some of these pieces, you'll see some slimy, slithery creatures of the night. Not exactly what I would have anticipated I would like on my Diwali table, but if you're really into some of these uh, movies, Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, and some of these, uh, of course, uh, animated creatures, then you're really going to love this. And if you want to go a step further, it's also accompanied by these gorgeous goblins. Blitz. Perhaps if you want to have a theme on your Diwali party, this really is something that is once again a conversation starter. Now maybe you don't want to go so out there this Diwali and want to keep it a little straightforward and simple. Well go for something classic like this decanter and some of these glasses here. The decanter if you notice does have some work on it, simple in its style statement, makes it perfect for any festive occasion. Along with that, my personal favorite would be some of these taller wine glasses here. They're elegant, they're classy, they're festive as well with a little bit of decoration here and they're wonderful for your Diwali dinner. into the store and I was lost in the midst of lots of color. Well, this year has been all about color and Diwali cannot be any different. And that's why my pick at the Good Earth store is this beautifully colorful dinner table setup. What I really like about the dinnerware is the mix of beautiful flowers and birds, just the right amount of color you require to add to your home decor this Diwali. And I love these lanterns which I think you can use in so many different ways. Well, you could place it by your entrance, by your balcony, in your living room, hang it from the ceiling, maintain that dim kind of lighting, especially when you have friends over to play cards at home. No Diwali is complete without plenty of lights and candles and our pick this year is the collection from Swarovski. Let's get you a closer look. Wonderfully sparkly, just the way we like it and a bunch of different shapes and sizes that you can choose from. Easy to use, you can refill your tea lights as and when for many other parties through the year. And then if your house looks as good as new, so should your electronics. A new flat screen TV or a great pair of speakers, the festive season always brings with it some great deals. This festive season, what could be a better centerpiece than a brand new flat screen TV? Now, a TV is something that you don't buy every now and then like a smartphone, so we suggest you put your money on the best. 4K televisions are making their way in. Uh, the content is going to become mainstream in a couple of years. A lot of options, Sony, LG, Samsung, our pick of the lot, this mammoth screen from Samsung. The 4K televisions are four times sharper than full HD resolutions and a lot of them are making their way into stores. The screens are brighter, sharper and thinner than previous generation screens. The Samsung 85 inch Ultra HD LED is one of the largest available right now. The smart TV comes with its own frame that also has concealed speakers a camera on top for gestures and voice chat and a quad-core processor for all your smart functions. At 28 lakh rupees, the TV is not only massive for any living room but a statement in itself. More e-books are sold than hard copies, so why not switch to the best e-reader available? It's light, it's easy to read, it can store thousands of books and it lasts weeks on a single charge. Amazon's Kindle Paperwhite is one of the best gifts you can get this Diwali. Even if you own a tablet, 
we suggest you get a Kindle anyway for some dedicated reading and you'll know what we're talking about. And we have to suggest the Soundlink Mini from Bose. One look at its small form factor and you think it's just another portable speaker. But believe us, it gives us the deepest bass and is way louder than some of the powered speakers out there. Aluminium body, Bluetooth interface for wireless connectivity, great for the bedside table or the balcony. It's small enough to move around the house wherever needed and can easily slip into your bag as well. Lots of things big and small that you can brighten up your interiors with this Diwali. That's right and we're also telling you about how women can splurge this season. There's so much that the ladies of Aspire have picked out. We're telling you what those are. And not to forget the men, our top picks for men's accessories and smartphones that are worth a look this festive season.